Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we will try to learn what is SCADA and we will try to keep the things as simple as possible so that this video will be very engaging, interesting and very easy to understand for you guys. We will try to cover all the topics under the SCADA. The abbreviation SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. SCADA is a system by which the real-time data is gathered from the field sensor installed on the remote location. SCADA system stores this data coming from the field sensors and analyze it to control and make critical decisions to control the process. SCADA generally refers to a combination of industrial computer system and industrial programmable logic controllers that monitor and controls a process. Now let's see a flowchart diagram of the SCADA system to see what are the components of the SCADA system and how does these components are communicating with each other and other field devices. So first of all comes the field devices. What are the field devices? Field devices or field instruments refers to the discrete sensors or analog transmitters which are installed in the process field to measure the parameters like flow of the liquid, temperature and pressure. Or it can be a control valve controlling the flow of the liquid. These sensors are connected to the PLCs or RTUs, remote terminal units. These RTU or PLCs are taking data from field devices or sending the data to these field devices to control the process. Next, these PLCs or RTUs have to send data to some central control station to store this data. For this, we have to transmit the data over long distances using telemetry. So the data is transferred from the field process area to the central control site through communication towers. The data move between two towers via radio wave. Once the data is received at center control site, it is converted to Ethernet using modem. After that, the modem is connected to Ethernet switch. It is like a central LAN hub. This switch is connected to MTU, master terminal unit. This master terminal unit is receiving the data from the RTUs or the PLCs. It stores this data, analyzes it, and sends the control commands back to RTUs to control the process in the remote location. An engineering unit is connected to the MTU. This engineering station has the SCADA software running in it. If any changes in the process is required, this can be done using engineering station. Master control unit will display the data of the current process going on onto the operator display screens. Finally, the master control unit will send the data to the server historian. These data historians are continuously logging the data and keep this data safe. This data is very essential to check the performance of the field devices and predict the problems and trouble in the process which might come in the near future. Now we will go on a site tour and see how the SCADA system actually works. We will see how all the components of the SCADA system actually look like and how all of these components are communicating with each other and how these components make a SCADA system that monitoring and controlling a process. In this location, you can find sensors and transmitters and control elements. These sensors and transmitters are measuring the process parameters like temperature, pressure, and tank levels. These sensors and transmitters control elements are connected to some remote I.O. units. These remote I.O. units receive the signals from these sensors. These remote I.O. units are connected to the PLCs via wire or wireless systems. So these remote I.O. units can transmit the data received from these field instruments to the PLC via wire or wireless communications. A SCADA system can be a PLC based or RTU based. PLCs are the programmable logic controllers and RTUs are remote terminal units. These PLCs or RTUs receive the data from these transmitters and sensors and based upon the current values of these sensors and the logic which is written inside the PLCs or RTUs to control this particular process, the PLCs make the logical decisions 
to control this process and send the logical commands to the control elements like control valves and the pumps to control the process. Now these PLCs and RTUs have some data in it which is related to the process which is being carried out in this location. These PLCs and RTUs will transmit this data to some central control station. At the central control site, this data is received by a communication tower in the form of the radio waves. After that, this data comes down into the SCADA control room, where it is converted to the Ethernet using a modem. A modem is a device which converts the radio wave signal to the Ethernet so that this data is available for the all of the devices inside the SCADA room. Modem converts this data into the Ethernet protocol and it is connected to a switch. Ethernet switch is a central hub where all the devices are connected and sharing the data with each other. The next component here is MTU. MTU is a master control unit. It is a brain of the SCADA system. The SCADA control software runs in this system. MTU receives the data coming from the field devices and the remote locations. It analyzes this data, saves this data, and takes some critical control decisions to keep the process running in the remote locations. MTU units send this data to the server historians. These historians are continuously logging the data in a system and keep it safe and available all the time. This data is very essential to monitor and analyze the operation of the process which is being carried out. And it can also predict the upcoming breakdowns which might occur in the future. The next thing the master control unit does is send the data to the operator screens. Here the operators are sitting in front of these operator panels and continuously monitoring the current values and the current status of the process. Here if the operator requires to modify or to change any set values, he can do from these operator panels. The next thing in the SCADA system is really important. It is engineering station. Engineering station is a station where if any changes or any modification is required in the SCADA software, it can be done using this engineering station. So these are all the components which work together to make CADA system. A SCADA system is capable of handling, monitoring and controlling the processes which are being carried out simultaneously on the several locations at a time. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please do share, like and subscribe this channel. And till next video, take care and goodbye.